Engineer 775 returning to a familiar location. Been some upgrades to the um, little micro hydro system using the Turgo. Uh, Johnny from Gain Solar had come up here and put a, another classic. We were having problems with the Midnight Kid for whatever reason with the Turgo, so we, he went ahead and put a classic on. She's doing good. I got here. The sun's just coming up, so it's a good time to look at this. The um, Turgo's putting out about 250 watts consistently, 9 to 10 amps. The batteries are in float, so she can make more power, but because she's in float, she's putting the brakes on a little bit. Um, we're just talking with the, the owner about doing some upgrades. This system works. It works fine, but it's a little under uh, size in terms of the batteries. But he is still he's set up to basically uh, double the battery bank, double the solar, and he continues to make improvements on the um, the hydro system, the pen stock, the water collection, and uh, so we're we're really happy to see this thing charging this morning, and uh, the two midnight classics are networked together, so I don't really see any any problems with it right now, and uh, so we're uh, I'll show you the Turgo and the improvements they've made to the intake because that's really been a I think the the big thing to keep this turgo from cavitating if it gets any air it just is unhappy so anyway let me zoom in on some numbers here this is what the hydro is putting out consistently the batteries were a hundred percent on this morning and that's all from hydro so they get to start the morning off with a full battery bank and the solar kicks on it's pretty hard to beat a hybrid system if you have the capability to make power with from multiple alternative sources so anyway let me show you the the hydro and some more of that but we're gonna possibly in the future double the battery bank and double the solar array but for now they have a working a working system okay there's been some improvements made I've, uh, fought with this creek a lot they had a really heavy rain and it washed out their original box this was the original sluice box so now we've got a, a little bit better intake to the four inch pipe that goes down to the turgo. So you kind of see, see it going down. And uh, we're still gonna make some improvements. We're gonna take this white water and get rid of this white water, make a smoother transition into the intake because any air brings cavitation, which makes less power. So uh, anyway. It's a little bit different than the last time you saw it. If you saw the part one, where we made the frame and mounted it and got it all in. So this is just an update about six months later for some improvements. If you're getting into micro hydro, just get ready for a lot of work. It does take some tweaking and adjustments, but it's very rewarding. The, the system's making about 6,500 watts a day. We're hoping for a little bit more, but hey, that's, it's nice to wake up in the morning with a full battery bank. Okay, we've been here for a little while watching the, the batteries in float mode and the classic is backing off on the turgo. So you see the voltage coming up into the 40, 40s and the amperage going down. So the batteries are full and that's just a great way to start the day with a full battery bank um, off of the micro hydro. All right, there's the gain solar array. I think it's 1250 watts and there's room to put another 1250 on the roof and that's probably going to be the plan eventually here get these folks completely off the grid they don't spend much now i think 60 bucks a month about 40 35 dollars worth of electricity they purchase but that's going to go to zero soon okay we're back here six months later Sergio's still cranking it out cleared a bunch of the creek out of here so it's a little bit easier to get to and work on so uh, you could almost put two of these babies in or three with this uh, there's plenty of water here all right so far so good I think I've got to fix something it looks like one of my welds broke uh oh I don't know how that happened Always something. All right. I guess that's it from the Micro Hydro Part 2. Doing what you're supposed to. Engineer 775, sign out.